everyone this is LaShonda with Lather and More and I am actually going to show you how I frost my cupcake uh, soaps. Now I have already made my base for my cupcake soaps you guys so I won't show you that but I will show you my piping technique uh, for this so stay tuned. And so far so good you guys I don't see any rising or anything like that which I like I'm always happy when there's no rising in my soap this um, fragrance oil is actually from um, wholesale supplies plus flashpoint is 200 degrees so I am soaping cool today at room temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and just separate out, try and get it as even as possible um, for when I pipe, you guys. Always like just a little. And I'm gonna go ahead and scrape this out. Get as much as I can out of here. You always want to make sure that you use up all of your soap. It's never a waste. Okay. And I am a really messy soaper, you guys. Like, I make messes all the time. As you can see, I have like a liner on my um, on my countertop because I know that. I always tend to spill stuff and what I'm going to actually do I'm going to actually add some white titanium dioxide to these colors because the colors are very bright and I want to kind of bring that down a little bit so especially this orange this orange is the um, orange vibrance mica and I believe that's also from um, Crafter's Choice Wholesale Supplies Plus. If you guys can see, it's it's not as strong. Um, and also, by putting a little titanium dioxide in uh, your soap mixture that has color, it kind of make to me it it makes it a much more richer um, color it's not as translucent it's more of a solid color by doing that and if you guys can see here it'll be better once I get to piping because you guys will be able to see what I'm doing right now I'm just going ahead mixing up my colorants for my piping I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, you guys, and when I come back, I will be ready to pipe. Make sure that these tops stick. So I'm just spraying a little bit of 91% rubbing alcohol on before I 
really star pie thing you guys um that is so that it will stick better to my soap base now what you guys are seeing is more of the yellow and the orange in the soap which is fine all right now here comes the interesting part why because a lot of people have problems getting their soaps to be uniformed and pipe straight now I am NOT a pro at piping but one thing I have learned is if you keep your piping tip straight as you go around you will be able to have a straight pipe Don't you guys hate when your piping bag plop plops? That mean ooh, that means that you have little air bubbles in your piping bag. actually going to try and go around a little bit more because I want these to be just a little bit taller. I have these really pretty little butterfly embeds that I plan on putting on top of them. So I need a little bit more of a beefy base to sit those things on. And my piping frosting is actually doing really good, you guys. Um, it's not hard to pipe at all, which I'm very, very surprised about that because I really thought by now it would have been kind of hard to pipe, but it's not. And I'm happy with it. Okay, that's all I'm going to get out of there. And I don't technically need my gloves anymore because I am just going to be placing the butterfly embeds. Now, I like butterflies, you guys. I love butterfly embeds. Okay, and let me see if I can get you guys closer so you can really see. Um... Ooh. All right, that's a better picture. We'll just focus on that chair. I'm going to get these little guys a little sprinkling of glitter because I love it. I love glitter. Glitter makes me happy. And I love this fragrance. I am a tropical girl love the fragrances um, and if you guys can see um, let's see here what's uh, orange um, dang. well it's a butterfly you guys I apologize for the focusing but 
Some of these will have a nice pretty orange butterfly on it. Others will have a pretty yellow butterfly on top. And I'm just going to kind of alternate between them both. That one's really pretty. It has a little I don't know, should I put the butterfly to the side? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I'll do it to the side. Yeah, so that people really know that it's a butterfly. Oh, I didn't really alternate like I said I would. That's all right. I like that one. That one's pretty. Looks like I've run out of butterfly embeds, but I do have second here, I actually have some leftover green. The so two of these will get pretty green butterfly. All right, I am extremely happy with how these things came out. I wanted to use these little stars. I don't know though. Let me see. Ooh. That would help if you guys could actually see. Oh, I do apologize y'all. I'm not really used to filming like this. Um, not like this, anyway. Uh, 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 uh. Let me scoop this out of the way. And I'm going to pull these over. Like so. And I'm going to bring you guys back. Can you see? I have these little gold stars and I'm wondering if I should kind of place them strategically little bitty places I think I will because I think I like it I think it's very pretty and And once I'm done, you guys, I will bring the camera closer so that you guys can see what um, what kind of sprinkles I'm putting on here. I really kind of want to... Ooh, that's too much. Kinda, I'm going to drop them. Midnight. That's my cat, you guys. Midnight. She is spoiled. She believes that I serve her and no one else. That I am her own personal sous chef. That every time she meows, I am to immediately go and get her some wet food. And I have to reassure her every time that that is not the case at all. You're going to have to wait. I gave you food earlier. You're being greedy. Look at me. I'm talking to my cat like she is a human. 
And don't get me wrong, she does understand what it is and I'm telling her. Cats are very intelligent, I tell you. So are dogs. I'm much more of a cat person though. I'm gonna have to find that out the hard way. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a couple of more um, in the back, along the sides. I just want to make sure that I have enough on here. And then I'll bring you guys up close so you can see my creation. Alright, this is going to get a spritz of rubbing alcohol again. And what I like to do so that you guys can really, 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 really see is I like to turn the lights off. I like to turn the lights off. Once I see in the front a little better, then it'll be a little better. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in. Ooh, or maybe not. Can you guys see? There they are. My little soapy cakes. I wish the lighting was a little bit better so you guys can really see how pretty they are. go back and that orange is stunning you guys that um, orange vibrance mica from wholesale supplies plus it is stunning all right so there you have it I haven't named this particular one yet but I will Then I'll go ahead and upload. All right, you guys. These are my soapy cakes. Please remember to hit the like button if you like the video, if you'd like to see more. Also, hit the subscribe button. I love, 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 love followers. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. Good morning everyone, this is LaShonda with Lather and More and I am just unmoding my soapy cupcakes today. And uh, I'm really pleased with how they came out. They're very pretty. Um, let me see if I can focus you. They're a tiny bit soft, um, but they come out of the mold really, really easy. Um, and I'm happy with them. They smell really good. My uh, soapy studio smells like a tropical drink. Oh, I wish I could get the lighting better on this one. That you can see it. I'll do a close-up, you guys, um, after I unmold them all. Again, they come out of the mold really, really easy. Gotta set that one aside. pop right on out which I love so I hate struggling with a, um, a mold and you guys will lose some of your nice little sprinkles 
when you are unmolding no matter what if it's a soap if it's a cupcake um, so if it's a bath bomb you will lose a couple all right so we're gonna go ahead and zoom in so you can really see them forgive me you guys about the tripod um, I'm still learning to use it properly um, ooh. is my footage let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see This one is the green. And I'll be posting pictures of these as well for you guys to see. But I just want you to see me unmolding them and how easy they are to come out of these molds. Alright you guys, stay tuned for other videos to come. Bye.